Welcome to Music City, USA, Nashville, Tennessee, the country music capital of the world. And this year's host of World Finals has kicked off the week with a parade down Broadway. And of course, that led us right here to Nissan Stadium, where earlier today, fans took in the sights and sounds of the biggest pit party in motorsports. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Monster Jam World Finals 22. I'm Scott Jordan, alongside the seven deuce deuce Adam Entignap. And after a grueling season with five series touring all over North America, we've reached the granddaddy of them all. And Adam, for you, it's your first World Finals. What are your expectations here? I'll tell you what, I'm excited to see the best of the best be the best of the best. These drivers are in tip-top shape, and they're ready to go. There will be four competitions here in Nashville. We're going to cover the first two for round 25. It's the Great Clip Skills Challenge, and that will see eight of the best in the sport showing off their technical skills. Then in the racing competition, we'll feature the 24 main field superstars going head-to-head -head in a bracket-style tournament. Adam in racing, Brandon Vinson, will defend his racing championship from a year ago, but it's going to be a tough road for him to get back to the top of that podium. What are his chances to repeat here? You know, watching qualifying and practice, his chances look slim, but that is the time to go back with your crew chief, make the adjustments you need to make, look at the track, you know, go over any video you can see, make those adjustments again, and come out swinging for racing. And in skills, Tom Mintz will also defend his championship. Tom has proven to be at the top of the food chain, winning both skills in the last two years, but there's some young, hungry superstars trying to take him out. Can Tom walk out of here with another championship? I mean, there is so many good guys in this two-wheel competition, but one of the biggest advantages for Tom Mintz is he has MJU at his house. He's able to practice all those tricks and all those cool stunts. He's the professor for a reason, Scott. Let's join the third member of our broadcast team, Leslie Mears, as she's standing by with the professor. Tom Mintz in this UNOH pit report. Well, he's been pushing the limits in the tool skills competition since it was created. And Tom, there's a unique aspect of order here for the skills competition. Talk to us a little bit about why you chose the place that you did for the competition tonight. I just wanted others to get a good start, you know, get something down, let the fans see something, get the judging, get the scoring going. And I'm hopefully I can do something that'll be more spectacular than what the first five do. Thank you, Leslie. Let's take a look at the lineup of competitors in the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Ryan Anderson, Camden Murphy going to compete in all four competitions. But, Adam, let's talk about John Zimmer Jr. in Terminal Velocity making his World Finals debut. What do you anticipate out of John today? You know, for John Zimmer Jr., this is definitely his first time at World Finals and in any competition. For two-wheel skills for him, he needs to get a top five. I think that's very successful. Unfortunately for John Zimmer Jr., yesterday, the rain delay kind of put him away from practicing. He didn't get to touch the track. So if he can come out with the top five here at World Finals 22, I think he'll be very excited. In the Great Clip Skills Challenge, each driver will be judged on their best maneuver on two wheels. They'll be judged by both fans and attendants and a celebrity judging panel comprised of Rosalie Raymer, Elvis Linus, and Brianna Mahan. The scores will be averaged out and the driver with the highest score will be crowned the World Finals Champion. Our first competitor out of Kildeva Hills, North Carolina, it's Ryan Anderson and son of a digger. Get some speed, set that thing, turn into it. All right, on the side, he doesn't have enough, though. Doesn't have enough. Goes right in the dirt, right in that mud. Oh! It looked like he slowed up a little bit, couldn't get the traction, had no throttle rhythm. And take a look at the original Super Glue Glue to the action replay. You can see at the top, he turned in it, got the truck set, but it was just a little muddy. He could not keep the momentum up, tried to power out of it, and ended up on the lid. 3.7, 0-0 is the score for Ryan Anderson. Our next competitor out of Oskaloosa, Iowa, it's Tyler Meninga in the purple Grave Digger. There it is. Into that nose wheelie. He's got the catch on the base of that container, and that ramp adding a little bit of leverage here for Tyler Meninga. And he's got more time than he would, 45 seconds for his trick, and he is laying this one out. Tyler doing a very nice job balancing the truck. He's relying on his crew chief right now to let him know when he can stop or get that combination move in. Tyler has been so good this entire season on throwing those combo moves, and we'd love to see that at World Finals. Oh, a little slippery on top of the pod. Tries to throw it in reverse and get the combination, but can't. Wow, tremendous two-wheel skills from Tyler. Went up back on that blue pod, just lost it in the mud. Again, the slick conditions here of this track. Take a look at the original Super Glue Glue to the action replay. You can see Tyler sets the truck on two wheels using that backflip container, walks the truck all the way out 
12,000 pounds, Scott, he's got on those two front wheels. He's looking right at the ground, walking that thing halfway across Nissan Stadium. Unbelievable by Tyler. Can't wait to see the scores. 7.126. That'll put Tyler Menega in first place now as we continue on with the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. Our next competitor out of Paris, Texas, the champion from the West Series, Tristan England in Earthshaker. Looks like he's going to try to get the front end up and get it on those back tires. Get a sky wheel. Oh, nope. There's a popper, and he does nothing. He gets nothing. Tries to make something happen on the back end. Went for the seesaw. Nothing there for Tristan England. 2.195. Absolutely tragic for Tristan England. Next up out of Itasca, Illinois, it's Camden Murphy in Bakugan Dragonoid. He goes up and he's got it. He's gonna go all the way up to the base there and catch it right on the limb of that container. He's got a beautiful nose wheelie working. Camden Murphy, almost identical to what Tyler did. He sent the truck. Oh, hits Going. a little bit of mud and goes down. Oh man, unfortunate. Take a look at the super glue, glue to the action replay. You can see Cam gets a nice perfect set. Cool little reverse up the back of the backflip container. Walks it out here. Keeps the balance on that 12,000 pound truck. And you can see he just speeds up a little bit too much. Hits the throttle hard. Goes to grab the brakes and keep it up a little longer. And the mud gets another driver, Scott. 5.917 now puts Camden Murphy in second place. Up next out of Kilimanjaro Hills, North Carolina, Weston Anderson, Grave Digger. He's got the back two wheels up on the container. This is Shades of Tom Menz with the maximum moonwalk, and he loses it. Now, that's not going to count as an attempt. The back two wheels did not hit the track. Now he goes again, nothing again here. He's run out of room on the container. That was it. That is it. He had a tire touch the track, so he had three wheels on the track. We're seeing the best in the sport come out here, and this track is dominating them. I've never seen anything like this, Scott. 1.521 is the score for Weston Anderson. Up next, the 14-time World Finals champion, Tom Menz in Max D. There he goes, he hits it. Now he's got it up, he's too oh. far again! It looks like he hit neutral. The tires were not moving, a mistake from the professor. I said Camden Murphy needed to do it sooner. Tom Menz just went a little too hard. He backs up, pops it up, a little too much momentum, and the wheels come to a complete stop, Scott. Unbelievable. 2.047 for Tom Benz. Up next out of Whittier, California, Armando Castro, El Toro Loco. He is making his first main field world fought appearance in history, but he has been in this competition all three years, and he can't even get down the race ramp. Wow. So an unfortunate turn of events for Armando Castro. 2.875 from the fans. That's 1.688 total. That's six. That leaves us with one final competitor, John Zimmer Jr. in Terminal Velocity. And earlier today, Leslie caught up with the second generation driver. Did you change your plan from earlier? Because you had a pretty prescribed move that you were going to try to do out there, and you thought that you were going to be able to pull it off. So have you changed your game plan and gone with your backup? I'm uh, definitely, I didn't change my game plan at all. I just don't know that it's going to work as good as I thought it was going to with the dry conditions. And uh, now we don't have two rounds, so I don't have a chance to go out there and put points on the board by doing like a normal ish arena skills run just to be safe, get the points on the board. Uh, but now I got to go for it. I'm just going to go for my move. And if it sticks, it sticks. It's going to look awesome. Either way, if I crash, that's going to be pretty cool too. The John Zimmer Jr. with the spotlight solely down on his truck right now. Can he deliver, though, in the clutch? He gets it up. He's got it, though, Adam. Oh, yeah. If he can take this thing all the way across, he can be a world champion. He's got that thing held, and the truck is balanced perfectly. He's going to have his foot on the brake. And Adam, the fans love this kid. They campaign to get him here. They are scoring half of this competition. This is unbelievable right now. He has the truck set perfect. The balance is great. Look at the way he's working it back and forth. He gets it all the way up, and he still got it. Oh! John Zimmer Jr. putting a pogo bounce on the container backflip. This is going to be a good score, Scott. Take a look at the super glue glued to the action replay. John Zimmer Jr. gets the back end of that truck up, 
He gets it balanced perfectly back and forth forever, keeping 12,000 pounds in the air at 90 degrees, and then throws it in reverse at the end, pops up the front tires, gets some air. This crowd is loving it. Is it enough to win the World Finals Championship? Scores are coming in. 7.126 is the score to beat for Grave Diggers, Tyler Meninga. Point zero five five. That means Tyler Meninga is a world champion for the first time in his career. Let's take a look at our final Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge leaderboard. Tyler Meninga is going to win this with a 7.126. John Zimmer Jr. right behind him, 7.055. Camden Murphy will finish in third. Ryan Anderson finishes in fourth. And Tristan England rounds out the top five. Right now, let's set it downstairs to Leslie Mears and our new World Finals champion, Grave Diggers, Tyler Meninga. It's been a long time coming and much anticipated for you to get this first World Finals Championship. Yeah, you know what? I've been close in racing multiple years in a row, but man, I knew when I see these cold hard heart trophies for Nashville, I wanted one of these guitar trophies, and I'd take any one that I could get, man. I can't thank you guys enough, man. The support for this team, support for Dennis Anderson. You guys are a Grave Digger sponsor, and that's why we drive these trucks as hard as we do. Tyler Medica playing the keys to victory after wild competition. Tyler Medica finally a world champion. One down and one to go, but coming up, Colton Eichelberger hits the track with the Spin Master Thunder Roarers drop. That's next on Monster Jam. Welcome back to Nashville, Tennessee for round 25 at Monster Jam World Finals. It's now time for the Spin Master Thunder Roarers drop stud, where Colton Eichelberger will attempt another record by jumping over nine Monster Jam trucks. And earlier, Leslie caught up with the former Max D driver. We're so excited for what is to come, Colton. And it's not like you haven't been here before because you did the seven truck jump. So talk about the preparation that went into this particular jump. You know, it's been talked about for at least a year now. It's been through so many different hands. We got a stunt team that coordinates all of it. And then, you know, several weeks back, it came to fruition in Monster Jam University. We practiced the jump, we practiced speeds, distance. Then we came to Nashville. You know, we got to practice here. This is where it's at. This is where it's going down. So there's been a lot of practice, a lot of hands on deck. I've got one of the best teachers in the world for doing stunts. Uh, I think we're going to be able to do it. The trucks are lined up on the track. Colton Eichelberger is up on top of the elevated start in Thunder Roris. The record is currently eight held by Adam Anderson. And Colton Eichelberger ready to go. They're practicing this at Monster Jam University. This is based on the Spin Master playset, the Thunder Roris drop. So Tom's transmission getting swapped out there. And right now, Tom can't even be out there with his crew as he is here to help his son and guide his son through this epic stunt. Thunder Oris at the top of the elevated start. And here comes Colton Eichelberger. He's got full throttle. Thunder Oris drop right over a monster chain trucks. Get slowed down. Oh my gosh. Colton Eichelberger, unbelievable stunt. And he went in so hard to that container ramp. He had all kinds of speed. He could have cleared 10 there. <laughs> wow, the most impressive thing was obviously the huge air. But man, how did he get that truck slowed down even enough to hit the wall that hard, Scott? Colton Eichelberger out of the truck, getting the cheers from the fans. Well deserved. Welcome back to Monster Jam, Colton Eichelberger. He's coming down the hill, and he kind of ginger on the throttle, and then right at the right point, hits it wide open. Look at all the trucks he clears in Thunder Roris. Look at the harsh landing. You can see him rolling from the elevated start. He holds that truck all the way to the floor, pedal to the metal. Huge bounce. Look at the tie rod in the front. It slams into the backflip box. Absolute carnage on the end, but unbelievable stun. Colton Eichelberger with a grand return back to Monster Jam. Well, we got to keep this thing rolling, and right now it is time for our next competition, BKT Racing. And let's take a look at our main field lineup. You got 24 of the fastest in the world in this bracket style racing. You've got all five series champions, 19 at large opponents for them. Who do you like here in this main field for racing, Adam? I mean, I love Weston Anderson, Tyler Meninga, Ryan Anderson, Adam Anderson, and our fastest qualifier, Camden Murphy. You gotta love it. Let's take a look at our bracket. Drivers have been seated into the racing bracket based on the results of qualifying with the fastest eight earning first round buys. Those eight are Camden Murphy, Adam Anderson, Bryce Kenny, Corey Rummel, Cody Sosier, John Gordon, 
Ryan Anderson and Tristan England in round one. It'll be El Toro Loco, Avengers, Zombie Soldier Fortune, Lucas Stabilizer versus Grave Digger Purple, Grave Digger Orange against Monster Mutt, Grave Digger Red against Shaker, Max D against Grave Digger Pink, Black Pearl against Thunder Roars, and Megalodon against Scooby Doo. Well, in just a few moments, Brandon Vincent will begin defense of his 2022 World Finals Racing Champion, and he is downstairs with Leslie Mears. Leslie. Well, Brandon, aren't these the conditions that you were hoping for all along as the reigning World Finals Racing Champ coming back in? This is it. The heavens have opened up. It's almost just like last year. It's raining. The track is muddy. I feel good. I feel confident. We're going to come out here. Uh, I got some brand new BKT tires ready to come out here and hit this track, ready to have some fun, and hopefully we can come out here and defend this racing championship title that I won last year right here in Nashville, Tennessee, in Music City. We're pumped up and ready to go. It's raining. Hey. All right, thank you, Leslie. Stay right where you are. We got a long way to go here in round 25. Round one of BKT Racing begins next on Monster Jam. We are back at Nissan Stadium for round 25 at World Finals, and now it's time to kick off the racing competition with the start of round one at the elevated start. I'm just being told that Avenger is now going to advance automatically into the second round to meet Camden Murphy and Bakugan Dragonoid as El Toro Loco unable to get out on the track here for racing. So no buy run here at World Finals. It's an automatic advancement, and that's fine because Camden already has lane choice with the first round buy. Our first race of the night out of Orlando, Florida. It's Zombies, Bari Musauer, and he is in the red lane, and he is going to go up against Caleb Blood and Soldier Fortune in the blue lane. Two Ambers up top for the pre-stage, two Ambers down the bottom. It means they are stage. Green meets go, and World Finals Racing has begun. Bari Musauer has the lead off the ramp, and he is going to turn this thing into the red lane. Caleb Blood with a nice drift. She nailed the corner. Caleb Blood nails that first turn. This is going to come down to a wire, but Caleb Blood blows the last corner. Bari Musauer goes tight. That's going to be the difference. And Zombie will advance in the racing bracket. Take a look at the original Super Glue glued to the action replay. Caleb Blood just pushes so deep into the last corner, hits the rear steer a little too late, gives Bari the advantage, and he comes away with the win. 21.147 is the time for Bari Musauer, so he will advance. Next up in racing, the Arena Championship Series East champion, Weston Anderson in the orange Grave Digger, and he goes up against Monster Jam rookie Chris Kohler in Monster Mutt, two of the youngest, most up-and-coming rising stars in the sport. Weston Anderson, Chris Kohler, and it is Anderson off the line faster. And down to the straightaway we go. The red lane water, no, Chris Kohler just slings that thing around and he's got the corner. Chris Kohler, oh, Chris Kohler grabs the wall a little bit there, oversteers the truck. Weston Anderson, absolute break check up, didn't cost him at all. And Weston Anderson gonna advance to round two. Take a look at the original Super Glue glue to the action replay. Chris Kohler grabs the wall, pushing him wide on that blue lane once again. Weston Anderson coming away with the win. Time for Weston Anderson, 22.049. That moves him on into round two to face Corey Rumble in Megalodon. Up next here in our BKT Racing bracket, it is Brandon Vincent in Gravedigger Red, and he is going to go up against Ryan Disharoon and Shaker, making his World Finals debut. So the title defense begins right here in round one. Last year, Adam, he went all the way from round one to the championship. He can do it again. Well, let's see how Brandon Vincent's truck is set up. We know Brandon Vincent is good in muddy conditions. It is Vincent. Shaker off to a better start. It is Vincent and Disharoon. And Brandon Vincent half a truck link lead. And Shaker is done. Absolutely done. Brandon Vincent going to get a clean shot at the finish line. Tough break for Ryan Disharoon. Vincent still needs to finish the race here. And he will go over the finish line. So Brandon Vincent moves on to meet Cody Saucier in round two. Take a look at the original Super Glue glued to the action replay. Brandon Vincent slings that truck around that last corner. You can see how slick it is. Brandon Vincent, no problem navigating this track. Brandon Vincent moves his World Finals career record to six and one now. We have a lot of action going on in the pits right now. Let's get an update from Leslie Mears down in the pit area. Leslie. 
Here's what we're hearing from our tech officials down here. Avenger is going to automatically advance without running into round two because El Toro Loco had a broken transmission. And then we're hearing the same thing about Tyler Menega in Grave Digger Purple. He also has a broken transmission. That gives Cynthia Gautier the automatic move into round two. So two wheel skills really taking its toll on these trucks and these transmissions. Thank you, Leslie. Unbelievable. So Tyler Menega wins the World Finals Championship earlier in the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge and cannot compete in racing. Up next, it's Colt Stevens versus Cole Bernard in the Black Pearl. All right. Colt Stevens in the red lane, Cole Bernard in the blue lane. Winner will advance to meet Ryan Anderson. Thunder Roar is Black Pearl, and Black Pearl gets off the line late. And Cole Stevens, Thunder Roris has the lead, but Cole slinging it into the corner. Cole, Cole Stevens, though, trying to keep this lead, but look at Cole Bernard catching up. Cole pushes it very deep into that first corner. Looks like Cole's going to get it. Cole Bernard, Black Pearl, the first driver out of the blue lane to win a race here tonight. Take a look at the original super glue glued to the action replay. A little wide on that last turn, but it did not matter. He made it up by breaking way into the first turn. 21.390, fastest time of the night out of that blue lane. And Colvinard will advance to round two. Our next pair pull into the line, the 2019 World Finals Freestyle Champion, Lindsey Reed and Scooby-Doo, she's in the red lane. And Megalodon's Todd the Duke rocking that neon Megalodon body. He is in the blue lane. It is LeDuc versus Reed. And Tom the Duke going sideways. He is going crisscross all throughout the starting line. He has made up the ground into the first corner. And here comes Megalodon. There's definitely some ruts developing on that start. Todd LeDuc having to let off. He lets off early. Nice first turn by Todd LeDuc, keeping it tight. And Todd LeDuc going to become the second driver to win out of the blue lane in round one. Take a look at the original super glue glued to the action replay. Todd LeDuc coming around that inside, slows down just a little bit, grabbing the edge of the pod, but gets the win by staying tight. So Megalodon will advance to take on Earthshaker's Tristan English. 21.412 is the time for Todd LeDuc. We have just one round one matchup left. It is Max D with Tom Mitz behind the wheel against Grave Digger Pink, Kristen Anderson, blonde to the bone. And the winner will advance to meet John Gordon at Bad Company. We got a green light in the final matchup of round one. Kristen Anderson has the lead, but that didn't last very long. Tom Metz has caught her into the corner. And she's got to break it up. She's chopping away at this third. Max D has a shot at the finish line. Tom Metz pushing a little wide right there, but he looks like he has it handled, but he misses a front wheel on the race he ramp. He goes off the race ramp. He misses a front wheel on the race ramp, Scott. That could be a five second penalty and deliver the biggest upset in round one. Let's take a look at the original super glue glue to the action replay, Adam, right here. The unthinkable just happened. Tom Mintz had the lead and Kristen Anderson behind stays cool, calm and collected and gets it done. So in round one, four wins out of the red lane, two out of the blue lane, and two advancing due to buys. Let's take a look at our round two bracket. Bakugan Dragon it against Avenger. Grave Diggers Adam Anderson against Zombie. Great Clips Mohawk Warrior against Lucas Stabilizer. Megalodon Rumble against Grave Digger Weston Anderson. Dragons Cody Saucier against Grave Diggers Brandon Vincent. Bad Company against Kristen Anderson and Grave Digger. Son of a Digger against Black Pearl and Earthshaker against Megalodon Leduc. Round one did not disappoint. Up next, eight more drivers get their shot. Stay right where you are. Round two is next on Monster Jam. Welcome back to Nissan Stadium in Nashville for World Finals 22. As we kick off round two, let's check back in with Leslie Mears. Yeah, guys, Kristen Anderson done a great job in that round, but she pointed out a couple things to me earlier that everybody is dealing with this in this round. And so one of the things is she said she was having a really hard time seeing the lights. Multiple drivers told me that. And multiple drivers told me that as these rounds progress, the road base that makes up that 100 foot ramp that they have to escalate down to get to the track is going to start to get ruts in it and it gets very very bumpy so watch those drivers and see if they're able to maintain straight control all the way down the ramps because that's going to be a challenge for them 
Thank you, Leslie. Our first matchup here in round two is going to be Camden Murphy and Bakugan Dragonoid, who finished second on Stadium Championship Series Red. And he will go up against two-time World Finals freestyle champion Jim Kohler in Avenger. Jim has appeared in every single World Finals in his career, the only driver in Monster Jam history to do so. Camden Murphy's 19.902, still the fastest time of the entire week here in Nissan Stadium. And he is going to try to make it to the quarterfinal round out of that red lane, he's got the first lane choice, and Jim Kohler off the line has the lead. Avenger across the straightaway, Camden Murphy goes high and into the corner, into the red lane. Camden Murphy tight, Jim Kohler trying to catch up now. Jim Kohler had a huge lead, but hit the gas, pushed wide, keeps it tight. Camden Murphy looks like he has it. Obaku got Dragonoid will get the win. Kohler put up the fight of his life, but Camden Murphy takes it home. Take a look at the original super glue, glue to the action replay. They were coming down the race ramp. Jim Kohler had the lead. He pushed wide and then pushed wide again on the final turn, making it easy for Camden Murphy. Pull into the line now, Adam Anderson in Grave Digger, the five-time World Finals champion. And he is going to go up against Bari Musauer in Zombie. I love this race. And Bari Musauer comes inside off the starting ramp. And Adam Anderson with a truck length lead going into the corner. Adam Anderson with a great second corner, but Bari made up some time down the straightaway. Bari has a great chance here to win it. Adam Anderson spins out, and Bari Musauer is heading to round three. That is the upset of the round so far. Bari is moving on. What is going on at World Finals? Bari's got it done. Take a look at the original super glue glued to the action replay here. Adam Anderson pushes a little wide on the corner. I think he's seen Bari hit the throttle a little bit too soon, oversteers the truck, and Adam Anderson and Grave Digger is out of racing for the night. 21.367 for Bari Musauer advances him into round three. Our first look here now at Grey Clips Mohawk Warrior with Bryce Kenny behind the wheel. And he goes up against Cynthia Gautier in Lucas Stabilizer on the track. She advanced automatically due to issues with the transmission of Tyler Menegas Gravedigger. A first for both of these drivers right now. For Bari, that was the third win out of the blue lane. It took a spin out from Adam Anderson. Doesn't matter at the end. And Bryce Kenny is coming in incredibly fast. Look at Cynthia sling it into the corner. She goes too wide, Bryce takes it tight. She's got to make up some time down this straightaway. Keep it tight, Cynthia. Bryce Kenny's on point. Just tiptoeing out of that turning pod. And Bryce Kenny, great clips, Mohawk Warrior, going to take the win and advance. Take a look at the original Super Glue Glue to the action replay. Bryce Kenny is on point. Look at how tight he took that last turn, making up so much time. Got Cynthia by a BKT tire. 20.845. So Bryce Kenny with the fastest time of the night. Up next, Corey Rummel in Megalodon, up against Weston Anderson in Grave Digger Orange. A better start off the blue line there for Weston Anderson. Corey Rumble has to chop at the brakes a little bit around the corner. Look at the turn from both of them. Wow. We are deadlocked at the straightaway. Weston Anderson breaks early, hits the rear steer early. This is going to be close. He's going to have to push it at the end. And Corey Rumble in Megalodon going to take the win. Take a look at the original Super Glue glued to the action replay. Looks like Weston Anderson has a locked up planetary gear on that right side. Incredible finish, though, for Megalodon's Corey Rummel, our finish length system, catching that at the final second. This track is living up to the high. We can still got a long way to go in the bracket. World Finals will continue with more round two action next on Monster Jam. Welcome back to Nissan Stadium in Nashville. Before we continue with round two, let's check back in with Leslie Mears. Guys, Cody Saucier is on the line right now, and he said the inclement weather and the rain on the track is a complete game changer for him. He says he's not really good in slick conditions. So one way he's going to try to help himself out is to change the gears in his truck. He's going for more torque so that he can get around those corners, have a little bit more grip and control when he rounds them. Yeah, thank you, Leslie. Up next is going to be Cody Saucier in Dragon against the defending and reigning World Finals racing champion Brandon Vincent in Grave Digger Red. Cody Saucier, an up and down year for him. 64 and 19 on the year. And he's got Brandon Vincent in Gravedigger. So Cody Saucier in Dragon trying to take out the defending Spinmaster Racing Champion. Cody Saucier came out of the gate 
like a bullet. Let's see if he can pull him down the straightaway. Brandon Vincent makes up some time with a tight corner. Final corner, Cody Saucier brings it in, and he goes off oh, the He misses run. the race ramp. I don't think he got the two front wheels down. Missed it. And Brandon Vincent, through a five-second penalty with Dragon, is going to advance and continue his streak here at World Finals. Take a look at the replay. Just hits the throttle a little too hard. Misses that race ramp completely. That'll be a five-second penalty, no doubt. Next up here in round two out of Hiram, Georgia, John Gordon in bad company from Stadium Championship Series Blue. And advancing from round one, Kristen Anderson in the pink grave digger after the upset win over the Professor Tom Mentz. John Gordon had the best racing year of his career on Stadium Championship Series Blue. He had three racing wins on the season. And he's got a great start here. He's got the lead over Anderson. She catches up into the corner. She's got a gingerly taken around. John Gordon has the lead. John Gordon staying nice and tight. He's smooth on the throttle. John, he oversteers too. He clips the pot. He goes off. I think he did get the wheels down. No bad company is going to take the win as we take a look at the original super glue glue to the action replay. Definitely over rotates that final corner. That thing is tricky and slick right now. Next up out of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, Ryan Anderson, son of a digger. And he is going to draw Cole Bernard in the Black Pearl. Cole cannot seem to get away from the Andersons. Lifelong best friends, but he has had a lot of trouble beating Adam and Ryan in his Monster Jam racing career. And here we go, Ryan Anderson, Cole Bernard. Dead even at this halfway point. Let's see who makes a better quarter. Ryan Anderson stays nice and tight, but so is Cole. This one's coming down to the finish. Black Pearl pushes it into the corner. Ryan Anderson takes it tight. Cole goes wide and pushes it to the finish here. And we are going to take a look at the original super glue glued to the action replay. That is too close to call. Cole Bernard pushes it at him and accelerates to the finish line. And Cole Bernard has taken Ryan Anderson out of the racing bracket. I cannot believe what is happening at World Finals. Our final matchup here in round two is going to be Tristan England and Earthshaker, the champion out of the West Series. He chooses the red lane, and he's got Tom Badute, the two-time World Finals champion in Megalodon in the blue lane. Both of them looking slick out here. Tom the Duke with the lead pushing into the corner. Nice turn for Bo Tristan England has the lead over Todd. Perfect set by Todd. He breaks a little early. Tristan England with a great last quarter. It looks Into like the corner. Get it. Tristan England gets a huge win over Todd the Duke. He went to the semifinals last year, and now he is rubbing it into the face of the two-time World Finals champion. Take a look at the original Super Glue glued to the action replay. Todd just pushes a little wide in that last quarter, and I'll tell you what, Tristan England hit a perfect last turn to get that win. 21.136, let's take a look at our quarterfinal bracket. It's gonna be Bakugan Dragonoid against Zombie, Ray Clips Mohawk Warrior against Megalodon's Corey Rummel. It's gonna be Grave Digger Red with Brandon Vincent against John Gordon in Bad Company, and it's gonna be Colvinar in the Black Pearl against Tristan England in Earthshaker. Bryce Kenny had the fastest time of the night. In round two, we are down to the fastest eight in the bracket. The quarterfinals begin next on Monster Jam. Welcome back to Nissan Stadium in Nashville for round 25. It's World Finals 22. Our first match here in the quarterfinal round out of Itasca, Illinois. It is Camden Murphy in Bakugan Dragonoid, his opponent in the blue lane out of Orlando, Florida. Boring Musauer in Zombie. Bracket is open in the semifinals. Winner moves on. We got some pyro here in Music City, and Camden Murphy has the lead. Into the first corner, Camden Murphy throwing it. We got some smoke coming out of the back. And Barry Musauer has got to hit this straight away and nail the final turn. It looks like Zombie pushed just a tiny bit wide, and Camden's going to come away with the win. Bakugan Dragonoid gets the win. Let's take a look at the original Super Glue glue to the action replay. Right there, Zombie, that six or 10 feet on the inside that he left open was all the difference, and Cam comes away with the win. Up next with lane choice, it's Bryce Kenny in Grey Clips Mohawk Warrior. He goes up against Corey Rummel in Megalodon. And right now, Corey Rummel gonna try to pull off an upset here and make it to the semifinals. Grey Clips Mohawk Warrior and Megalodon down the start straight into the corner. Corey Rummel! Bryce Kenny is stopped at the
the ramp. And Corey Rubble is gonna finish this thing off. He's gotta get a good time, though, to get late choice in the semis. And Megalodon is advancing to the semifinal round. Our next matchup in the red lane, Brandon Vincent in Gravedigger. In the blue lane, John Gordon in Bad Company. The winner moves on to the semifinals. And here we go, it is Vincent Gordon, and Gordon has the lead. Coming down, that start straight off the race ramp. John Gordon came out so quick. What a nice turn from John Gordon. Bad company could take this. John Gordon's got to finish strong, though. Brandon Vincent trying to take this corner, and John Gordon looking for an upset. And we got to take a look at the replay to see if he got the front two wheels down. But it looks like John Gordon is heading to the semifinals. John Gordon just a little wide right there, but hammers the throttle, gets the front wheels on the race ramp. And Scott, is there no more grave diggers in the racing competition? There are no more grave diggers. Our final race here in round three is Earthshakers Tristan England in the red lane and the Black Pearls Cole Bernard in the blue lane. We are gonna have a brand new racing champion this year at World Finals. Here we go, one spot in the semis remains. It'll be England or Bernard, and they are dead even at the line. Nice corner there from both Black Pearl and Earthshaker. Dead even, it's coming down to this last turn. Oh, Cole Bernard grabs the pod. But he's trying to catch up, and Earthshaker is going to take the win. So the move does not pay off. Tristan England jumps to the red lane, and he will take the win and advance to his second consecutive World Final semi round. Take a look at the replay. Cole Bernard knew he had to make that last corner tight, turned just a little bit too early, grabbed the pod, left front tire came up, had to put the brakes on, and did not get it done. Our semifinal bracket is set. It'll be Bakugan Dragonoid. Camden Murphy will have lane choice over Corey Rubble in Megalodon, and then it'll be John Gordon in Bad Company up against Tristan in England in Earthshaker with lane choice for the two spots into the finals. 24 of the best started the night, only four remain, and one will become a world champion. Who's it gonna be? Find out next on Monster Jam. Welcome back to Nissan Stadium. We have reached the semifinal round of BKT Racing, and our first matchup is a doozy anywhere in the world. It's gonna be Corey Rumble in Megalodon in the red lane, and he is going up against Camden Murphy in Bakugan Dragonoid in the blue lane. Camden Murphy with lane choice picks the blue lane. Camden Murphy had such a, a great season. However, that slide, you just can't ignore it. That slide from the top spot and redemption for a win. But Corey Rubble is out of the red lane first. And Camden Murphy now has the lead, pushing it into that blue corner. Murphy goes wide, Rubble goes tight, and Rubble clips the pod. Camden Murphy pushed it so hard into that last turn. Corey Rubble's got the lead here. And Camden Murphy, wow, unbelievable. Camden Murphy comes from behind to take the win. Take a look at the replay. Okay, now watch Camden Murphy right here. He goes a little wide, but he gets a better drive than Corey Rubble. Stays lower on the race ramp, finish line jump, and right there, it's gonna be Camden Murphy. But John Gordon not gonna be able to make it back. What a great night for him. And that means Brandon Vincent will come back again, and he will square off with Tristan England in the blue lane. This is gonna be an unbelievable race. I cannot wait. I can't believe my eyes. I don't even know what's happening right now. Final race, Tristan England, Brandon Vincent. The winner will advance. And it is Earthshaker with the lead into the corner. They both take it great. Tristan England still out in front. Tristan England, a little wide, decides to break early. Final quarter, England's got it. Tristan England has and Tristan it. England is advancing to his first career Monster Jam World Finals final race. Take a look at the original Super Glue glue to the action replay. So tight on that last corner in the red lane. Beautiful pass by Tristan England. Earthshaker with a time of 20.802. He will get lane choice against Camden Murphy. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape here. Camden Murphy, Bakugan Dragonoid. Six stadium racing wins in 2023. 26 and 18 record, seven and four in his career at World Finals. Tristan England, 17 arena racing wins in 2023. 77 and 34 and six and four career on the biggest stage of them all. 
Our final match is set in the red lane with lane choice. Tristan England, Earthshaker. In the blue lane, Camden Murphy, Bakugan, Dragonoid. Both looking for their first ever World Finals Championship. Scott, this is the moment that we've all been waiting for tonight. Unbelievable. Nobody would have predicted this. I think we all could have thought Camden Murphy, the fastest qualifier, would have made it there. But Tristan England, this is going to be a crazy last race. It is Murphy. It is England. It is the BKT Racing Finals. And here we go. And look at Bakugan Dragonoid. Something's wrong. I think he's stuck in first gear. Slow off the line for Camden Murphy. He's picked it up. Christian England with the lead in the straightaway. Can he hold it? Final quarter for Earthshaker. Something's wrong with Camp's transmission. Tristan England is a world champion. For the first time in his career. The three-time series champion is now a world champion. What a moment for the kid out of Paris, Texas. Let's take a look at the original Super Glue, Glue to the Action Replay. Earthshaker puts down the run of his life. Unfortunately for Camden Murphy, it looks like a mechanical, possibly a transmission. Tristan England gets it done here in World Finals, and he is your racing champion. Some of the greatest drivers in the history of Monster Jam have stood on top of the podium in racing. Tom Menz, Adam Anderson, Dennis Anderson. And now Tristan England joins that very elite group of racers. Tristan, for you, second generation driver, getting to live the dream out here, and now you get to call yourself a World Finals champion. I told everybody it was coming. I didn't even know when it was going to happen. Nobody knows what's going to happen behind the wheel of these Monster Jam trucks, man. They are built like tanks, and we play with them like they're Spin Master trucks. And I have so much practice, week in and week out with my son Crash. He's four years old. He's just as crazy about Monster Jam as I am. I hate he wasn't here, but I promised him that I'll go and bring him up a trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for your Monster Jam World Finals Racing Champion. What an amazing night here in Nashville. Two first-time World Finals champions. Tyler Menega wins a Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. Tristan England wins BKT Racing. It's a Cinderella story here in Music City. Oh my gosh, I can't believe what I just witnessed. I am so happy for Tristan England, your racing champion. And we are not done yet. Join us right back here at Nissan Stadium for round 26 for the Lucas Oil High Jump Competition and Target Freestyle for Adam Entignap and Leslie Mears. I'm Scott Jordan. We'll see you right here next time on Monster Jam.